What is going on everybody? It is Aaron Cates and welcome back to the channel. Now today we're going to be installing the True Dual exhaust on the Ford. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the header video, but I know my neighbors have not. So today we're going to be running the True Duals. It's still going to be very loud. We are doing True Dual straights, no cats, so it's going to be very loud still, but it's going to be a little bit quieter than just open headers. And I'm going to try and make this exhaust a little bit custom. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do it, but the way it's designed is for two pipes to come out on one side, and I want one to come out on each side. So we're going to try and do that ourselves. But I don't know how well it's going to work out. If worst comes to worst, we'll just do it the way it's designed. But I would like to try and have one on each side. But we'll see. So this kit right here is from Dynamax. It is this kit right here. It is the Dyn Dynamax Performance Exhaust. It is for the 1980 to 81 Ford pickup. But as you guys know, my truck is an 85 and this will work on there. It was verified fitment from AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, O'Reilly's, all over the internet. I purchased this from Advanced because I was able to use a discount code on it. I ended up paying 140 for it and originally it's 220 so it worked out perfect it's good to putting it on hey everybody if you have watched this channel before and if you haven't please go down and hit that subscribe button but if you guys have watched me before you guys know i like to try and show everything that i do and this wasn't as easy because the lighting is terrible underneath the truck. As you guys can tell, it's pretty dark right now for whatever reason. Uh, just the contrasting light. And you guys can't really see much of anything that I'm doing. But we got the exhaust that mounts to the headers in. And it's not exactly the way it's supposed to be. So this kit is designed for 80 to 81 trucks. It's the same body style as this, just set up a little bit differently. And if you guys know, this truck is solid axle swapped. This radio arm, radius arm mount is supposed to be up there. So this is running into this. So it's dropped down a little bit lower than it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like, you guys can see my finger. It's supposed to be back over here and then up a little bit. But it's dropped down some. And then we have to mount one of our bend pipes over here. It mounts right here to even these out, these two pipes. And then you're supposed to have two mufflers that are 18 inches long going back. Well, I don't have two 18 inch mufflers because we're straight piping it. So I have to get some straight pipe to replace the mufflers. And then we can connect these pipes that are right here on the ground to this tailpipe right here. We should be good to go. I'm gonna try and show you guys as much as I can, but as you guys can tell, it is very like dark contrasting light underneath the truck and you guys can't really see much of anything. So you guys haven't heard it yet. I've heard it. Um, the whole reason I haven't shown you guys any other progress is because it is not the way I want it to be. And I have to do some modif modifications and sadly I am running out of daylight. As you guys can tell, the pipes are in two different spots. Uh, the top one is kind of where I want it to be, except for I want it to be up a little bit higher. But for the most part, it's in the right spot. But the bottom one is super low and I do not want it there. So I'm gonna have to figure something out. But for the most part, this is 
I want one over here and one over there. Everything up until where they meet is already bolted down and exhaust clamped with no leaks. And I just ran the truck just to hear it come, in, come out over top the axle and it sounds fantastic. So I'm gonna get my girlfriend's reaction because she just got home. Uh, she hasn't heard it yet. You guys haven't heard it yet. And I'm gonna film her and get her reaction because it is insanely loud and it's got a super loud pop to it. All right, everybody, as you guys saw, you guys got my girlfriend's reaction. That was yesterday. It was a completely different day. I didn't tell the sun is setting. I just got home from work, but I did make some progress. So we used the rest of the fence post that we had right here. I had to go to AutoZone and get a connector, which is right up there, and connected it to an old piece of exhaust pipe that I had laying around. That crosses over, comes to there, comes to the connector and goes to the fence post. But as you guys can tell, this pipe over here sticks out quite a bit. So I'm actually gonna leave this alone for the way it is now. I actually wanna get exhaust tips for this, but I wanna, I wanna make sure I have them so I know where to cut this pipe at. Because once I cut it, you can't go back from cutting it. You can't uncut it if you don't have a welder. So I wanna make sure I, I measure out the right way. So for right now, it's just gonna be a slight eyesore. guys just like that we're just about the same on both sides this side's a little bit farther forward that's the only thing I can tell probably about three inches different I'd say I want to hear how it sounds coming out both sides now with the same size tips so go ahead and fire it up Alright everybody, next day, before the camera fogs up, I'm going to get this out. This is the new dipstick. As you can tell, it's flexible, it bends. And this is the original dipstick, it's kind of like brake line. That If you keep bending it, eventually it's going to break. And honestly, this one's a little bit shorter than this, so it kind of has me worried. But it's meant for this truck. 302, 351, 429, 460. They apparently all use the same dipstick. So it's meant for this truck, but we're gonna get it put in. It comes with a bracket that you can use to bolt into a header bolt if you want it to stay stationary. I don't really care, I just want it in. So my truck will stop leaking oil in my driveway. Just wanted to show you guys the difference between the old one and the new one before I got it put in. I would try and record underneath, guys, but honestly, it's way too crammed in there to get the camera, the microphone, and everything. So just wanna show you guys kinda what it's like before it goes in. I just got finished putting the dipstick in. It took me about, I'd say close to two hours. Um, I had to pull the driver's side header back off to get the dipstick in. It would not go in no matter if it was flexible or not. There was not enough room to get it to go to the angle it needed to be to go in. But it is finally in. And I'm washed up a little bit now. 
that uh, I don't mind getting in the truck. And we're going to take it on its first drive since it had the exhaust done. Alright, I'm going to throw you guys up there while I uh, try and pull this out of the driveway. I've got to back up, or pull forward, back up, pull forward, and back up. Now uh, see if I can get out. Probably gonna be a little bit shaky, but right? it's gonna sound good. This thing is loud. Holy crap is it loud. That is the end of this video. If you have made it this far, please go down and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I apologize that this video got drug on over, I think it was about four days. It was supposed to be done all in one day. It did not happen that way. Uh, some exhaust had to be modified. Uh, it doesn't necessarily look the way I want it to, but I still plan on changing some things down the road. I've already got a couple ideas to make it tucked up a little bit more underneath the truck, but for right now it hangs down quite a bit and I apologize if I didn't go too in the detail with a lot of things. A lot of it was put this on, take this off, put this on, take this off and then it was I couldn't get the dipstick in so I couldn't drive the truck and I could only sit in the driveway and then we started leaking oil because it didn't have a dipstick in it so then I couldn't run it anymore so I had to wait for the dipstick to come in. It was just a pain the entire time but we did finally get it done. We did finally get to drive it and oh my gosh is it so loud. Uh, I would like to get some more rolling clips of it driving later on in the future. That'll be in other videos. But for now, I apologize, but you're just going to have to deal with what you got. It is 8.30 at night in my neighborhood, and I am tired of coming home and recording this video and just dragging it on. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.